welcome to Sunrise Serials. I'm your host, Richard Pochart, and today we continue fighting the axis of evil with Batman. Chapter 6, Poison Peril. Daka and his Jap spies learn of a new secret airplane. They succeed in stealing it, but plane is Batman. We didn't turn off the seatbelt sign. Screw flying the plane. I want in on this action. Hello, I just spotted a huge mosquito. Okay, I'll attend to it at once. Zone 14. Battery control. Giant mosquito headed Jet your way. Speaking. Use the off repellent the stolen spray. Plane over your section. Bring it down at once. Could you guys hold the plane still for a minute? Smoking section is in the rear of the plane. Ugh, that's the last time I fly coach. Oh crap, my lunch is still in there. Coming. Keep sending me the voicemail. Batman must have overpowered those mechanics. Section one. Section fifty reporting. Go ahead. Lockwood test plane just crashed near Edgeworth. Two bodies found in wreckage. Who are they? Mechanics from the Lockwood factory. That means the Batman is at large again. But before I think long, he's I more of a medium. Hadn't you better contact the submarine and tell them? You're not the boss of me! Dr. Dacker calling Captain Curie, submarine 918. Dr. Dacker calling submarine 918. We're coming in for a landing! Banzai, Prince Dacker. Banzai, Captain Curie. Lockwood plane crash cannot be delivered. Too bad. Plan failed. I will find another way. But please, don't hurry. How are they These planning to put a plane on a submarine, submarine to begin with? 
destroyers close by. To save time, we will endeavor to secure blueprint of Lockwood motor instead of waiting till Yankees build the new one. Banzai. Banzai. <laughs> Uh-oh, they're on a collision course for kookiness! Heaven knows where they are, miss. Mr. Wayne's been considering a trip for his health for a long time. They may have gone either to the, uh, to the beach, or, or to the desert, or... or oh, uh, wait! I think they're just now uh, returning from Narnia! Or, um, maybe South America. Uh, or uh, possibly trying to find out who the Batman is. Oh, oh yes, miss. Uh, I mean, no, miss. Oh, dear, it's too bad they had to leave just when I needed him so badly. Linda, darling, let me hear you say that again, that you need me. Oh, Bruce, you're impossible. No, Come just on, highly Hello. improbable. Listen, the reason I came was to tell you that Ken Colton's in town. He telephoned me and wants to get in touch with Uncle Martin. What does he want with him? Uncle just Martin the usual exposition. Mine and he struck it rich. He wants to put the mine in both of their names. Did you tell him about your uncle? No. I told him to meet me at the apartment. I thought perhaps you might help me out. Of course I'll be there. I haven't seen Ken in a coon's age. Now, of course, that depends on the coon's oh, birthday. Get back to work. Buddha is so high maintenance. He always checks if it's a henchman. Who else would know where the doorbell is? Well, that buys us a little time. No survivors. Another disaster due to the interference of the Batman. We can forget Batman's not even in Batman. the Navy. But there's one thing you must accomplish at once. Destroy the Batman. That's a great idea, but how? It is evident that he is interested in Miss Page. That may be. Where did that and leap of like logic come from? Way. You don't suppose this fellow Wayne and the Batman could be one and the same person? That'd be absurd. That simpering idiot could never be the Batman. But we must find out about Miss Page, her habits, the people who come to visit her. Klein, you are an electrician. Go to Miss Page's apartment posing as a telephone repairman. Install a dictaphone. Sorry, I'm not allowed to carry pointy objects. This is the address. Maybe now we can find out who the Batman really is. What sort of a mind have you, Mr. Colton? Radium. Yes. If you turn off the lights, I'll glow in the dark. Oh, excuse me. Hello, Linda. Hello, Bruce. Hello, Linda. Hello, Dick. Hello, Ken. How are you? Oh, boy. <laughs> This is my ward, Dick Grayson, Mr. Colton. How do you do, sir? Glad to meet you. Okay, sir. that's Good enough holding you. hands. The Longsworth Hotel? Yeah. The best is none too good for me now. <laughs> Come over here, you old desert rat, and tell me a few things. Say, what's this I hear about your finding a, a gold mine? Well, better than gold, Ken. <clears throat> Look. Looks like a piece of coal to me. Yeah, that's pitch blend. That's the mineral from which radium is extracted. Now it's killing us all, come. even it's as we sit here. here. And the last test I made, why, it showed a higher grade ore than any known deposit. Very interesting. But isn't it a rather expensive process to extract the radium from this, um, what did you call it? Pitch blend. Yeah. Oh, yes, but that doesn't matter as long as you know how little there is available and how badly more is needed. It's called price gouging. It's and a basic and economic and principle. Where's your mind located, Mr. Don't tell I don't even know where I am, much less the mine. I can trust you folks. Hey, have you got a map of the state? Yes, I'll get you one. All right, that's fine. You know, you'll be surprised when you find It should jump out of a cake money. any moment now. Oh. I'll pick them up for you, Amanda. Thank you. Here it is. Well, there. I think this will show us where we want to go. Oh. You see this road here? I'll teach you not to knock me in the head. Yes, 
Just when we were about to learn the location of the mine. Clifton, go to Colton's room, get there and get those papers before he has a chance to get back. Take Burke and Klein with you. Brooke and Klein? The suit makers? Thanks for the lift. I'll call you tomorrow. Good night, Mr. Cole. Good night, sir. I didn't get a chance to tell you that now. When we were up in Linda's apartment, I found this microphone hidden under her desk. And Somebody Alan Funt was up, nowhere in sight. In his mind. I tore the wires loose, but whoever was listening must have heard most of the conversation. I think the Batman and Robin had better keep an eye on Mr. Colton. Swell, let's get into our outfit. There's nothing here that looks like a chart or a map. Look through those pockets again. Someone at the door, put your light out. I'll take care of him. Anything to get me in bed. The Batman! He came in through the bathroom window. Sorry, no oh. interviews. Shall I get the car? No, they'll be lost in the traffic before we get started. We'll get back to Colton and see if he's hurt. Are they going to drive the car up to his room? Oh, yeah, Think you'll be able to identify any of the men? There's Doc. I didn't get a good look at him. I'll leave you a sedative in case you don't sleep well tonight. I've been knocked out once already. Evening, Mr. Wayne. What brings you here? I, just I have a stripogram for a Mr. Attack. Colton. Who are they, Ken? Oh, I suppose that bunch of claim jumpers that you warned me about. But they didn't get what they came for. Because I take ridiculously bad notes. I'll see that Mr. Colton makes a full report of this tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Wayne. Good night. You won't have to wait long. I've sent for a male nurse to look after him. That's fine. We'll just take till he gets here. You know, they failed, Ken. They'll try it again. I'll be ready for them. Mr. Wayne's residence. Who's calling, please? And Mr. Colton calling you, sir. Oh. I don't know why I answer the phone. It's never for me. Morning, Ken. How do you feel? But there's a fiddle full of news. Just heard from Martin Warren. On my way to meet him. Why don't you come and go with me? Where'd he tell you to meet him? Down at the old Atlas Smelter, Avenue D and 7th Street. Uh, he said he was a foreman there. Defense work, you know. Well, take my advice and stay where you are. It may be a trap. Don't forget those flame jumpers from last night. Ah, uh, yes, I know. But if this is really Martin, I don't want to miss it. Besides, what's the point of being rich if I can't you. be gullible, too? Yeah. Everything is in order, then I'll phone you and you can come over then. Okay, Bruce. I'll be waiting for your call. Well, Alfred, your big moment has come. Oh, splendid, sir. You're going to pitch hit for Mr. Colton and keep his appointment for him. Is hey, that sir? all I am for well, you, I hardly think bait? I can do it, sir. I, uh, I'm not feeling very top hole this morning. Then get the makeup kit. You certainly can look more like Colton than Colton does himself. Keep the change, my good man. He's mighty magnanimous with Bruce's money. Well, there's no one around. Let's go. Sorry, Mr. Colton, but your friend Warren hasn't arrived yet. Oh. Oh, oh well, I, I don't mind waiting a little. But... Oh, fine, fine. Nice little plant we have here. It should interest you. Not very large, but with our method of processing. Oh, oh, oh careful, careful. Don't trip into that vat. The chemical in there would leave no trace of you if you did. 
Oh. You see? Oh. And now, Mr. Colton, uh, where is your mind located? What? Mime? You think I have a what mime? Uh, well, you see, I, I'm afraid I can't. Uh, I can't. Why should I tell you? The boys didn't finish with you last night. If they begin on you again, you'll be ready for the morgue. Well, I don't Mr. usually Colton go to the morgue question. on a Thursday. Are you going to talk? Are you going to tell us where that mine is? No. Well, maybe a yank on this will change your mind. Oh, I stand a symbol! Hi, we just thought we'd swing by. Here, have a seat. Docker's lieutenant, posing as a doctor to trap Colton. Will the Jap spy force Colton to reveal the location of the radium mine? And there's Robin on the job. Will he find his match in Dhaka at last? Don't fail to see The Phony Doctor, Chapter 7 of Batman at this theater next week. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments. And if you liked today's episode, give it a thumbs up. Every little bit of feedback helps. It really does. Do Dacus men get hazard pay? What are Robin and Alfred up to in the closet? Will the theater be adding flash-fried Batman to the concession menu? Be here tomorrow for the next thrilling installment, Chapter 7. The Phony Doctor. Hope to see you then. Hey everybody, it's Richard again, and if this is the first time you're viewing my series, You've already missed a lot, so why not subscribe? And that way, you'll never miss another exciting, cliff-hanging moment. Subscribe today!